Hi, you guys. Molly from Molly's Artistry. Just making sure my camera is on and it's doing right. Yep. So I am back. I really liked the black pour that I just did, so I'm going to do a flip cup with it because I liked the way it came out. My black has nothing in it. No silicone in it, I mean. Let me see. I think I'm going to do this bright blue next. My, I'm using Bright Blue by Artist Loft. I am using Brilliant Blue, sorry. Brilliant Magenta by Artist Loft. Uh, regular Black by Artist Loft. And um, Cerulean Blue. And I have a couple drops of silicone in each color. And I don't know if you guys can see it this way, but let me see if I can get you. So let me see if I can do it this way. When my paints go into the cup, they make a little mound. I'll try to show you afterwards if I have any paint left over. But that's how thick I want my paints. Um, for flip cups, I like my paint thicker. For dirty pours, I like it a little bit thinner. Um, for swipes, I definitely like my paint thin, but for flip cups to hold the cells, I like my paints a little bit thicker. Now, if you go too thick, the paint won't slide around, and not only will it not slide around, but you won't get the rings that go through because the cells will be kind of hazy. So it's you got to just find whatever mix works for you. For my pouring medium, um, I used, I'm trying something different, so I used... 200 mils of glue, 200 milliliters of Floatrol, um, about 50 milliliters of polymer gloss varnish, and about, um, did I use this one next? Yeah, and about 25 mils each of GAC 800 and Liquitex pouring medium. So it just gives it a nice gloss. And these are 300 mil cups, so I'm not going to fill them quite to the top. Um, I'm just going to do two layers of each color. Maybe I'll have some left over for some coasters, maybe. Um, but then I'm just going to drag them straight down. I'm just going to do three cups so that I can spread the paint out. You don't want the, you want enough paint so that you can cover your canvas without stretching your cells out. But you want, hmm, wondering if I should do just a little more black on top. Maybe I'll finish off my pink. Maybe I'll put a little bit more pink on top. Just feeling the pink. Okay. Okay, so let me, so there are like a ton of things to think about. You want to think about, I'm going to let those sit for a second so all the paint can get out of them. You want enough paint to cover your canvas and not have to stretch your cells out, but you don't want so much paint that you can't stretch your cells out. So you have to figure out how much paint works for you for your canvas. You have to figure out what consistency works for which um, technique that you're doing. So there's a lot that actually goes into, I'm gonna put the black that has no silicone in it on the corners here of the canvas. I normally do this for my gallery wrapped canvases so that I don't have to like super worry about the corners. Um, but you just want to experiment, you know? My paints that I use may not be the same paints that you use, so you may need a dif different ratio. I used a 50-50 ratio pretty much to get this combination, um, the consistency that I wanted of the paint, but you may need a different ratio. So, you know, I'm using Creative Inspirations and Artist Loft a lot. Um, golden High Flow Acrylics will take a different um, ratio of pouring medium. The uh, Apple Barrel definitely is thinner, so that takes a different ratio of pouring medium. So you just gotta figure out what works for you. It's better to know what consistency and be able to feel, feel it then always follow the recipe of somebody else because it may not be, you know, the same. They may not be using the same paints. 
Okay. Let's see what happens. So I do like this initially to not have a lot of cells. I want to heat this heat the paint, get the bubbles out, and I want the cells to form there. Oh, I got that blob of black in there. I don't like that. Pull this out on the corners here. Gosh, I love that black and that blue together. It's beautiful. Oh, that black and that blue and the deep purple. I mixed a little bit of Payne's Gray in with my purple. Really nice. I'll save the rest in case I need it. I feel like I always get more cells in the bottom here and then I end up losing the bottom. I swear it happens to me every time. Gosh, I've got that line of black that I didn't mean to have in there. Ooh, I was talking to you guys and I torched a little too much, I think. But we'll see as I stretch it out. Hope you guys can see it. Okay. So if you guys like the videos, please subscribe. Um, I try to do a couple each week. I'm experimenting, so you guys will be experimenting with me. Um, and it's just all about having fun. Um, I normally go up first, so let me do that. I'm going to go up into the corner and over the side. Got that pretty much over the side. Now I'm going to bring that back. Bring that back over to this side a little bit. Bring that back. Then I'm gonna come down and over this way a little bit. Oh, I really like these blue pink cells. I'm gonna lose them. Bring the paint back. Because I wanna keep my lines kind of straight. Now back over this way and down. Not over that way. I want it to go over the side. Go over the side, buddy back to the center, and then when you pull this all the way down, it will even your lines back up for the most part. Let me make sure I got my sides. Okay, so my cell's in the middle. Interesting, I like the little pink that flowed through there. I actually really like this one, guys. I feel like I say that about most of my paintings, though. It's just so interesting to me that I really like a lot of them. <laughs> okay, let me get my... Let's see what's going on on the other side over here. Turn that around. There's a little bit left right here to get some on the canvas. Oh, loving it. Loving it, loving it. Just to get air bubbles out. Not for any more cells. Love it. I'm gonna take it down and show you before my camera dies on me. So that is what it looks like. And here are the cells. The color's not true with my camera right now. It's actually really bright and I'm kind of in the light of it. I need to get a studio, guys. Oh my gosh, I love it. You guys, let me know if you like this one. I love this one. I'm thinking about doing this one in 
a bigger canvas, like a one foot by three foot or a one two foot by three foot. Let me know if you guys like the colors enough for me to do a big canvas like this. Please comment below. Oh man, I love it. Can you guys see it? I know my shadow's in the way, but I really like it. Loving it. Those are almost electric little, you can't get the good color, but those are almost like electric little cells there. And the sides. Love it. All right, you guys, Molly from Molly's Artistry. I'll see you later. Have a good night. Thank you.